The NBA are not ready for Golden State Warriors. The Warriors have made some big moves this offseason, five big moves that they have made and are making this offseason that will not only make them a better team, but will help them win another NBA title. The first move is that the Golden State Warriors can still get one bigger free agent this offseason. Now this came as a shock to everyone, but even though Draymond Green is getting a new deal, it is said that Draymond is willing to take a pay cut and also Klay Thompson has been in the mood of signing a new deal that would give him a pay cut too. And if that's the case, the Golden State Warriors would be able to land someone in the free agency of around 10 to 12 million and a name that has come up that a lot of people are very keen on. Kelly Oubre Jr. did play with the Golden State Warriors, and he did a superb job however during that time that's when everyone was injured and Kelly Oubre definitely does deserve a second shot. Oubre can still offer a lot to his team, he's still only 27 years of age so still is a very young player 6'7", 203 pounds, and he also averaged 20 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 1.1 assists with the Charlotte Hornets. He could be a perfect fit for what the Warriors are trying to do especially now, and he could help them win another NBA title. The second is that Andrew Wiggins is finally back at full power now as you all know Andrew Wiggins did play the playoffs but you do have to realize that he missed more than half of the season and he was coming back playing pretty much no basketball for the second half of that regular season. It's so vital to see that Andrew Wiggins is finally back going to be playing all 82 games if possible and he's going to be able to have a huge impact on what the Warriors are trying to achieve. As you all know, Andrew Wiggins stands at 6 foot 7, 197 pounds and is still only 28 years of age. He's a one-time All-Star 2022 NBA champion and he also won Rookie of the Year. He only played 37 games so less than half of the season he still averaged 17.1 points, 5 rebounds and also 2.3 assists and his 3-point percentage still remained a very high 40% and an effective field goal percentage of 56 as well. This came as a shock to everyone, but Andrew Wiggins did actually play during the playoffs, but he wasn't up to that level or has had that same defensive effect that he did have especially in the time that they did win the NBA title. But he did only play 37 games and you have to give him the benefit of the doubt with everything that is going on in his life, especially during the times he is back in full power, he's going to have a huge advantage when it comes to him playing with the Golden State Warriors. Wiggins is going to be able to come back in full power and provide what this Golden State Warriors team definitely needs and it's definitely an athletic wing that Golden State Warriors Steph Curry or also Klay Thompson can pass to on a regular basis. Wiggins can definitely give you a bucket now and the fact that he's such a high 3-point percentage shooter who is actually ranked second in the highest 3-point percentage out of all Golden State Warriors player. It is fantastic to see that Wiggins will be able to adjust and beat that main guy that they definitely need him to beat. When it comes to Wiggins as well as defensive ability that doesn't show up on the stat sheet is definitely not unnoticed. He does a great job. If they have him continuing to play some of the best players and defend them, he can honestly lock anyone and everyone down. The third is Golden State Warriors landing Trace Jackson Davis. TJD has actually done a superb job at impressing the Golden State Warriors as he has recently signed a small deal with them. The Warriors are actually planning to use him at actually as soon as possible and it is fantastic to get somewhat of Trace Jackson Davis' ability especially with what he's able to do out there on the floor. Now Davis is a 6 foot 9, 245 pounds athletic beast and also did a superb job as an RSCI top 100 and was ranked 26 in 2019. So, he did a superb job throughout his college career earning four-time old big team. It is great consensus AAA two-time Big Ten all-defense. So, he definitely has that defense, he has the offense, and he can offer a lot for this team. Now a lot of NBA coaches actually during the draft said that Trace Jackson Davis was actually the biggest steal of the draft and the Warriors got themselves a very good hit. Now TDJ actually averaged 20.9 points, 8 10.8 rebounds, and 4 assists, and his game is definitely that he can do everything out there. It is great now when it comes to his three-point percentage. He doesn't really shoot a lot of threes, but his inside presence is definitely felt because he had a two-point percentage of 60% in the most recent season with Indiana. He also came from a college of Indiana which played very much mature basketball and NBA-style basketball, so he shouldn't have any problem actually converting over his game style or his game over into the NBA. The Golden State Warriors definitely needed a forward and Trace Jackson Davis definitely provides that. Davis has the capabilities, especially the athleticism side of things, to be able to keep up with some of the best. He has that scoring ability. His inside presence is definitely something that the Warriors definitely need. 
We have Kayvon Looney who's a great big man however he doesn't really have too much of a scoring ability yes. He can give you 10-15 points here and they're usually off second chance buckets. But TJD definitely does bring to this team is a lot of scoring but his capability to actually have great post moves be able to get to the bucket and has that soft touch around the rain. And on top of that great rebounding ability is always needed that's something that the Golden State Warriors definitely needed especially in the most recent playoff series against the Los Angeles Lakers. It seemed that LeBron, Anthony Davis, and everyone else in that team was too much when it came to rebounding to for Golden State Warriors to handle. So, the fact that Warriors were able to get Davis for very cheap. It would honestly be really good to see how he does this upcoming season because he's going to surprise a lot of the NBA. The fourth is that it's been stated that Draymond Green is most likely to come back to the Golden State Warriors. As you all know Draymond Green actually declined his player option for this offseason. However, one of the reasons for that was because he wanted to get a new deal that has a more of a 3-4 to four year timeline. So, he's actually willing and is ready to sign back up with the Golden State Warriors under a new deal. It's honestly fantastic to keep Draymond in a Golden State Warriors uniform as you all know Draymond Green stats like 6 foot 6 230 pounds and at 33 years of age, he still has a lot to give left to this game. He's a four-time All-Star, four-time NBA champ, and two-time All-NBA, and when it comes to this season, he averaged 8.5.6.88 assists and 7.2 rebounds. Now it may not sound like NBA superstar stats, but Draymond Green does out there not only just for the team, but also for himself has honestly been so respectable and some of the greatest possible, especially highly efficient basketball we have seen. When it comes to Draymond, what he really does. Now Green still has a lot left to give even though he is at 33 years of age. His playstyle isn't really too much based on athleticism and that's why he's been such a so efficient player ever since till today. He definitely is still in those peak years and he still has a lot left to give and he doesn't slow down anytime soon. Now when it comes to his field goal percentage it's actually surprising that not many people know. But he has effective field goal percentage of 57 which is great, but what he really does provide also is that playmaking for that starting five. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, they're the greatest shooters alive and the thing that comes with shooters is that they are mainly scorers and that's what Draymond really does provide that not many other power forwards can replace. If they decide to go with someone else Draymond provides that playmaking that is definitely needed in order to get steps open Klay open and even other players. If they did lose someone like Draymond, there really isn't someone that can replace him that has that amount of playmaking ability and can also defend 1 through 5 like Draymond. So, his role definitely does fit with what the Warriors are trying to do and keeping him in the roster is definitely going to pay dividends and they do have a great shot at winning another NBA championship very soon. The fifth is Chris Paul joining the Golden State Warriors. This trade absolutely shocked the NBA because Chris Paul will now be playing for the Golden State Warriors and this is honestly fantastic for what they are trying to achieve. Now Chris Paul last season actually averaged 13.9 points, 8.9 assists and also 4.3 rebounds and on top of that he also shot 38 from the 3 and also 50 as an effective field goal percentage. So, he did a fantastic job last season for the Phoenix Suns, but Chris Paul is going to have a huge impact in what the Warriors are trying to achieve. The Warriors are looking to win another championship as soon possible. As Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and others are also in their peak years, and it is looking like Chris Paul could be the missing piece that they definitely need. In the most recent playoff run, we did end up losing to the Los Angeles Lakers, but the biggest problem that they did have was that second unit not having enough depth and not having a scoring leader. Because of that we did trade Jordan Poole in order to get Chris Paul, but Chris Paul can definitely fill the shoes that Jordan Poole was supposed to fill. Although CP3 only stands at 6 foot 175 pounds and is 38 years old, he is probably the smartest player in the league right now and he knows what it takes to win. He's a 12-time All-Star, 5-time Assist Champion, 11-time All-NBA, and he will continue to surprise a lot of people even though he is 38 years of age. He has a lot to give and he can do a fantastic job at leading that second unit and really adding more structure to what the second unit are trying to do. The Golden State Warriors definitely have the starting five already down park. But what they were missing especially in the most recent playoff run was definitely a second unit that can really hold its own. Chris Paul can definitely provide that. We probably will see CP3 coming off the bench and being that point guard for that second unit and he can do a fantastic job with other players such as Dante DiVincenzo and Gary Payton too and also the other younger guys to really help them and to achieve what they want to achieve. 
Although CP3 doesn't have championship experience and a sense of winning an NBA championship, he has been to the finals and he has a lot of playoff experience at that. His most vital asset that he can bring to this team is definitely his playmaking ability. As you all know, the Warriors' main playmaker is their power forward, which is Draymond Green. And as Steph Curry is more of a scoring point guard, it is fantastic to add ace point guard that actually does a lot of the playmaking and can really run the floor very efficiently. And that's what Chris Paul does very well. He likes to play a very structured offense and it would mess well with the free flow game style that the Golden State Warriors like to run. So, the fact that they have both sides you know Chris Paul who likes to play more organized basketball and you have other players like Steph Curry who likes to play more free flow. It will be a recipe for success as other teams won't be able to understand how to actually defend this starting five and also of Chris Paul coming off the bench. If you're a die-hard Golden State Warriors fan like me, there's always something to talk about when it comes to this team. Please, just wait for it. Access the community tab of our channel. There are a lot of quizzes, text, and image pool about Golden State Warriors. Test your knowledge about. Watch these other videos of ours from Golden State Warriors.